All right, as I predicted, there wouldn't be any issues. I don't have to worry about uh, volume balancing so much with uh, the lack of music. You can do that on your own if you want to listen to music. Let's go ahead and continue here. Fly through these turns. I don't know how long this first session will go on. Probably until I get really tired. Okay, the... I have a mountain range there. That's a factual statement with what I've mapped. Certainly. Let's go ahead and continue to just explore it. Well, explore everything in general. Alright. Alright, we got another animal there. A vulture. Okay. Which, uh, I am, uh, interested in, uh, seizing for my own, I suppose. Come here, little vulture. Unlike in, say, standard, uh, situations, uh, when I'm playing, like, the base game, here, I actually want, um, our animals to spawn so that I can kill them and potentially subdue them. Because with subdued animals, you can do all sorts of interesting things with them. We have a wild llama there. Our, uh, our stone thrower here is in a defensive position and it gets a bonus versus animals. Perhaps it'll choose to attack. It did not. A friend is one to whom one can pour out all the contents of Okay. So, we unlock gatherers, which are like early versions of workers here. Thank you, voice. So, yes, we have gatherers who are like an early version of workers. They can do early version of worker things. We've also enabled a lot of potential buildings by the looks of things. So that we can actually build shit after our wanderer. I'm not so interested in the food thing right now. However, that... Raw hammers is something that is definitely interesting to me. Something which I'm definitely interested in. Afterwards, we can look at the other stuff. Okay. Woohoo! We subdued a llama. All right. Oh, well, we got a free gatherer. I don't exactly know what the hell we can do with them. We've also revealed some basic resources around us. We're not going to be able to do anything with them for a long time, but at least we did. I'm not sure whether I can do anything with you. I'll walk you around. Maybe I'll figure out something that uh, I didn't know. I'm pretty sure the interface is supposed to update whenever I drag this around, like anything I might be able to do a tile on. Or do something on. No, so, okay, so here we go. We have a subdued llama. He has uh, returned here, and we can construct a herd of llama here in this city. Uh, it counts as like a great person, or we can butcher him and add two hammers and three food to the nearest city. I'd rather construct a herd of llama, which provides one llama as well as one carcass, which we can use for other things. And in addition, it provides a plus one food and plus one hammer, which is great. Look at how much, you know, time that shaved off producing the, uh, the Wanderer there. That's great. It's definitely worth it. And that's what we're looking for when we subdue animals. Against my better judgment, I think I might just tell you to automate. And that way, whenever you find something to do, I'll learn about it. Thirteen beakers per turn? We're gonna take a while to do shit. Let's super zoom out here. Watch the clouds pass us by very fast. Our club man has finished healing. Let's go, uh, and so is our stone thrower. Great. It's another mountain with a name. 
Still haven't found anyone else. I'm not saying that's, like, a crazy thing, since... I mean, we're all playing on a huge map, and I could have added more sieves, and I didn't. Perhaps I should have. Perhaps I should have loaded this thing up with sieves, and uh, created a more compact situation for us. Uh, however, I did not. I wonder why it's circling that. Like, I can colonize there, or what? Tell you what, you, uh, you go on, like, an automated hunt, I tell you what, yeah. You go on automated hunt, you are going to stay in the city still for the time being, by the looks of things. We'll, uh, we'll put the stone thrower on that, too. We'll keep them stationed in the city, and we'll see what happens. This might also just be the long, sort of like a peninsula. A massive peninsula jutting out of a bigger continent. Hell if I know. Okay, those are desert tiles. And that was a tribal village I would like to say that I had seen, but I didn't. They gave me my favorite, though. A map. Oh boy. Alright, we have our units here just wandering off. They're going off on their own little exploring adventure. I can't say I care so much to move every single damn unit in my, my under my control. The Wanderer here is nice. He has two movement. The Stone Thrower here, not so much. I probably will keep that behind just to act as like a second unit to guard the city. Probably don't need to, but... Ha. Huh. You can go on Automate. We have a desert tortoise there. Interesting. So yes, go on and head back. Got a lot of stone throwers milling about now. Them and the wanderer. Yes, like I said, head on back. You don't have a city garrison promotion. That's fine. All right, we crush the the dreams of that animal. That one doesn't have a city garrison promotion either, so I don't have a problem with it just milling about. Just saves me some time. We have a golf there. It's neat. We have some hills with those interesting holes in them too, I've noticed those. Like... Yeah, they're right there. That's what I was going to say. Still haven't found anyone else yet. But, huge map. Only 11 sieves. Whoa! Whoa, Mount Fuji! Oh, that's cool. That's definitely cool. There is actually something we... Uh, unlocked with the pack. I'm pretty sure it was with the language. Yeah. Wonder of Nature Mount Fuji should be on there. You can build that and you would get all that stuff with for free. And then get more things as you teched up. Requires Mount Fuji and City Vicinity. So I'm definitely very interested in expanding my empire so that I get to Mount Fuji. Uh, and I don't have any competition, at least on this end, but I do have hemp. Make some rope, and we can climb Mount Fuji. I'm sure we won't die in the process or anything. It's not like it's passable. Uh, go ahead and, uh, sit you back on to automate. You guys can mill about and have some fun. I'll control the club man, because he's more valuable. He's two strength. He's big people. Mount Fuji. That is a, a long, long-term goal, though. Oh, we've apparently spotted another miner. Yes. 
we have spotted the Incan Empire. He has an explorer here who's doing some recon to the desert, which I think, and it's not showing up on the text, I'm pretty sure desert's supposed to wear you down as you cross it. Subtract away from your health. Maybe I'm not playing on a high enough difficulty setting? I did choose a monarch, right? Yeah, I did. That might not be good enough. Or it's possible that I just don't have that to show up right in the, uh... Sort of like the text pop-up, but I'm running with the completely standard settings. Maybe it's not standard to show that. Oh well. I could, uh, attempt to fuck with that wanderer. Just to, uh, sort of like, fuck with the Incans. As you can see, I'm at war with them. Okay, that's, uh, that is definitely a thing. Go ahead and stop your automation. I'm uh, gonna cross you through here myself. I guess those aren't dunes. This is desert. Huh, we'll, we'll move here and we'll see what happens. I, uh, might very well attempt to engage the gentleman in fisticuffs. However, he is promoted. And uh, my stone thrower there may very well uh, not survive, we'll say. Now, seed camp, lookout post. Eh, it helps the thwart against rival spies, but uh, I don't want to spend that much money on it right now. It'd be a long walk before any spies got to me. So after this, I'm going to go ahead and build a seed camp. And we'll see if I can throw a stone and, uh, knock that ink and wander in the face there. Alright, my unit did not take damage. So that's nice. However, it seems the wanderer is going to escape from me. That is unfortunate. Maybe I didn't turn on the right option that allows for, uh, damage dealing through terrain. And the custom option settings. Alright, I am the sunken wealthiest civ in the world. Holy crap, I got a lot of money. I just realized that. Well, that's nice. I like cash. No problems here. Yeah, I don't see any need for a lookout post right now. But, you know, the game could prove me wrong. I should also... I'm just thinking about this right now. Where's my autosave options? Is that something that's in here? How often the game auto saves? No. That's probably something I control in the I and I, isn't it? Probably want to have more regular saves than this on the case, you know, the game crashes. Yet yeah, that could happen. Seems like the gentleman here, uh fought an animal. I might be able to get it while it's weakened. No, he moved. It's like the AI knows. Little shits. Oh, well, if he gets it, well, then he'll have another movement. That would be across the river anyway, probably. Ah, well. Goody hearts. I can't catch them all. Oh. Hey. Stone Thrower is not exactly the unit that, you know, could use the experience better. I think maybe the Wander was a little worried about approaching me. And maybe, uh, Goody Huts killed uh, the rest of your movement. I'm thinking, um... I don't like, uh, raw combat here so much as, say, Woodsman. We have that Wander there that we're still giving chase to. See if I can do something to it. But the unit will probably be intelligent and continue to flee from me, as it should. Ooh, or got eaten by a cave lion. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Uh that's just not feasible for me. Now, if I fortify here. 
I've got plus 25% forest defense, plus 35% versus animals. Stone throwers can't very well survive against the cave line. That's just not a thing that can happen. Uh, I don't think so, anyway. Even with the defensive bonus, I tell you what, we'll go ahead and give it a try. We had another stone thrower who ended up in a bison, so I might lose two stone throwers. Or I might win. Now, I didn't get any subdues there, but I did get extra hammers. And uh, my stone thrower three uh, got an extra promotion. Gorilla one for free. Which is nice. And then this guy got Woodsman 1 for free. Which is nice. He didn't defend in the woods though. Which is interesting that he would get that in that situation. But I'm not going to complain. Whew. I'm not used to playing on such a large map. The uh, the scope of this is a uh, is hurting my head a little bit. <laughs> well, that's great. Didn't even take any damage. Let me check out the combat log there, out of curiosity. The bison there had a 15.5% chance to win. The cave lion had a 15.5% chance to win as well, it seems. Okay. Uh, go ahead and keep taking a look around. Such a large territory. So vast. So vast. The game's telling me I'm on equal strength with the Incan Empire. So that's a thing. Gonna continue to send this club man down. Uh, stone thrower here looks like he's gonna pick up this tribal village that the, uh, the, the clubbers left behind. Okay. That's done. We have eight turns until scavenging's finished. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up the root tubers. That's a raw food without having to worry about uh, dealing with uh, getting rid of that unhealth. It's not like I'm going to be growing anytime soon anyway. But it's setting the seeds of future growth. It's not like I can exactly... Oh, Sugarloaf Mountain. It's not exactly like I can expand fast anyway. You know, in part because there's no one nearby for me to kill. Ooh! A Stone Spearman plus 50% versus wild animals. Oh, that's exciting there. That's definitely a valuable unit. Someone I could bring back to the homestead. But I'll have him wandering around just like everyone else. Oh. Devil's Table. Somehow the Incan guy didn't find that, and I got more gold as a result. Sweet. I'm not exactly sure how the discoveries of these wonders translates to money. I'm not exactly sure even what currency the money is. However, I do know that my club man has met a tragic end. It's a shame that things had to end that way for him, but sometimes that's what happens whenever Goody Huts get involved. Also, hello, Cave Bear. I won't exactly let you suicide. Hopefully we can get the Cave Bear into a favorable z How about that? All right, there are two, two, there were two, uh... Hell, the second battle didn't even get into the 30s, percent-wise. All right. So... Hmm... I can get a lot of potential movements here. Sidestep, plus 20% versus throwing. You know, give double movement in... Uh, Desert, Arctic, you know, tundra or lush. 
I am a pretty big fan of woodsman stuff, though, in the, the real game, and I'm gonna stick with that, too. I think I'm actually gonna stick with what I plan to, and have you go back to base. It's gonna take 20 turns, but, like I've said, we have time. There's no way in hell you can take on that by yourself, little buddy. Even, even if you do get 100% versus uh, animals, that's something we need the spearman for. And I'm not. I'm gonna try to avoid allowing you to kill yourself. Maybe if we get in this defensive terrain and get a little lucky. Me get lucky. That's exactly what happens, right, everyone? <laughs> The fact that I defeated those two barbarian clubmen is amazing. Our researchers have made a technological breakthrough, rapidly advancing their power. Okay. That's nice. Okay. So... There's no way in hell. Run. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Unless that is actually the best play. I don't feel like losing a unit needlessly. Even if I if even if I have gotten some for free. I'm trying to look for maybe like a forested hill where I could make a stand. That would give me like a 75% bonus, and that's one that I see over there. Oh. Hello. That's not bad. We get a hawk. Also, a guy gets more experience. Not such a bad thing. I didn't think a stone thrower would have that much experience going forward, though. Alright. Banditry. What does that do? Soldiers are organized bandits. So, minus 20% military production. They're produced with food. Here, minus 15% military unit production. They have a 10% chance to capture and avoid capture. Allows construction of civic militia. I... Hmm. I... I honestly don't know. We'll go ahead and adopt this, though. This is new and exciting. Why not, right? Apparently, this doesn't even produce military units with food, either. Yeah, sure. If your friend is already dead and being eaten by vultures, I think it's okay to feed some bits of your friend to one of the vultures to teach him to do some tricks. But only if you're serious about adopting the vulture. Okay. So, here we have our epic stone thrower here, who's got... All sorts of awesome things. The revolution has begun. Doesn't look like I can grab Woodsman 2 with him yet. Let me take a look at the promotions to see what Woodsman 2 would require. Like I said, folks, I'm a big fan of Woodsman 2. Promotion tree. This might have been the worst idea ever. I think this was the worst idea ever. Let's just fly down to Woodsman 2. Does that exist? It does. So, requires Woodsman 1 and tracking, which I do not have. So I'm not going to be able to get it. I could save the promotion. Well, that doesn't even double your speed in hills. Hmm. Hmm. Tell you what, you're doing all right. You're doing all right. We'll uh, we'll give you that, and we'll heal you up. Now you over here. I was trying to escape from uh, death and internal torment from the bear, and the bear has had other ideas. Okay. Bandit hideout. I want that, but that's going to take me a long time to build. So I'm not so interested. Instead, 
we might replace our root tubers here with a storage pit. No, not a storage pit, Grimoth. With the bug catcher. And... It's going to take a long time to produce, actually. Alright. I am in anarchy, though. That explains it. I guess I'll let the root tubers finish anyway, because they're the same thing, really. Alright. I'm in anarchy, and I forgot. We built the, the banditry civic. That volcano is that... Alright. I don't know where that volcano is. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass or anything. That would be unfortunate. Have some bison. We're just continuing to explore. We have such vast terrain here. Such vast terrain. Okay, Lake Baikal. Which gave me even more gold. Holy shit, I have tons of money. I'm rich! Now I'm going to do the cautious thing. And not advance into the fog. You can do that with two move units so that you don't walk into death from a cave bear. That's intelligence right there, everyone. Okay. Anarchy is over. Government is reestablished. Looks like I reached the end there. Stone spearmen are slowly making their way back. And I do mean slowly. 14,000 turns. My good lord. Let's, uh, take a risk there. And I could have moved to that tile. I just want to... Again, I have 14,000 turns, right? I'll be fine. There's a pigeon. Hey there, little pidgey. How you doing? You gonna attack me? Yay! Woo! You are getting promoted the fuck up. I like it. This stone thrower is amazing. And I am sure I'm going to lose him, and I'm going to be very sad about it whenever I run into a, a cave bear, a mammoth of some kind. Okay. Who would expect us? That's something I hear. <laughs> Don't mind me, everyone. A little crazy. Okay. You're going to die. And I, I'm not referring to the cave bear. I would rather you go after the spearmen. I would like an attack across the river penalty, I tell you what. You need to back away. As much as I like you and all. Hopefully the bears see the spearmen or the bear and... Uh, Performs accordingly? He said hopefully. E just ought to be hunt. Mm. Here's the wishful thinking. Meanwhile. Inking guy had to... Oh, I have no idea how the... Where the hell exactly he was. I, again, I have no idea where that eruption is. And that doesn't take me there. So, your guess is as good as mine, everyone. The salt flats. Mushrooms? So don't have anything for a gatherer. Unfortunate, but things happen, right? 47,000 BC. Woo! There's a platypus. Excitement. Riveting suspense. And that takes care of the platypus. Let's go ahead and sentry until healed. We even subdued him. Add the tale to your cultural heritage. 
Uh huh. Well, we'll keep him around for the time being. Let's say we uh we fortify until heal. We're gonna heal the platypus. Doesn't look like the bear's biting. Who would expect us? All right. See if I can fish out the bear myself with the spear. And I might try to move the wanderer over there too. Just to have like a uh, a backup unit of sorts. I'd like to stack the two together. Just so you know, if one fails to get the kill in defense, the other one uh, will be able to succeed. At least that's the theory. In practice, I have no idea. The fact that I'm not seeing the uh, the bear is a little unnerving. There's no telling exactly where the fuck it is. You know, where he... Well, I guess that, that, that would tell where the fuck it is, huh? Unless it was like a second bear. Like, fuck! Okay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video here, folks. Go ahead and, you know, split these off into manageable chunks of riveting suspense and excitement. Can't miss action.